Hi there. As we get farther into the growing season, you probably notice that some, if not all of your tomato plants have leaves that are curling up. This is really common, especially when gardening in the desert. So today I'm going to explain one of the most common reasons for tomato leaf curl. I'm gonna explain why it happens and I'm gonna let you know what you can do about it. Stick around, this is In The Garden. Welcome back. Whether you're a new viewer or a returning subscriber, I'm glad you're here. This is In The Garden, where I share tips and tools to help new gardeners be successful in backyard vegetable gardening. Today, I'm talking about tomato leaf curl. There's a lot of different kinds of leaf curl that can happen on your tomato plants, but there's one that's really common that you're really likely to encounter while gardening here in the desert. The most common type of tomato leaf curl is an upward leaf curl. It probably has a special scientific name, but I don't know what that is. So we're gonna call it an upward leaf curl. You can identify this because the leaf is actually curling up into like, almost like rolling a burrito or a tortilla up. It's just curling into a, into a roll. And if it's really severe, they'll actually curl all the way up until it's like a tube on, on the leaves. Upward leaf curl is caused by environmental conditions. This is a natural physiological response of the plant to outside factors. The plant is responding to conditions that are outside of it. And this is just a natural, like almost like a protective instinct for the plant. There's a ton of factors that can contribute to upward leaf curl in your tomato plants. But here in the desert, it's mostly gonna be because your plant isn't able to pull up enough water to make up for how much water it's either using or losing. So the factors that are con gonna contribute to that the most here in the desert are that it's too dry, it's too hot, and it's too windy. Each of those things is gonna contribute to your plant not having enough water. And when I say it doesn't have enough water, don't mistake that to mean that you're underwatering your plant. The ground can have a lot of moisture in it and your plant still won't have enough water. And the reason for that is those reasons I just mentioned. It's too dry, it's too hot, and it's too windy. Your plant is only capable of pulling up so much water to be able to keep itself hydrated while, while the heat of the day is going on and all that. If you watched my video where I talked about how to plant your tomatoes, I told you that you needed to plant them really deep. This would allow it to get a better root system and be able to get more water pulled up into the plant when it gets really hot. That's really important in the desert, but even that, when we start to get into the triple digits, it's probably not gonna be enough to keep your plant able to pull enough water up during the hottest parts of the day. When I say it's too dry, I don't mean that you're underwatering your plant. So don't go out and just start pouring water on it. Like, oh, he said it, it's too dry, I gotta put water on it. You don't need to put water on it. When I say too dry, I mean the environment. Our climate here in the desert is really dry. We have really low humidity almost all the time. So that it's just really dry. There's a lot of opportunity for the plant to, to transpire its moisture into the atmosphere because the humidity is so low. So it's really dry air. All the ground around your plant's gonna be dry. It's just, there's a lot of heat from all that. And as you're fully aware, we live in the desert, so it's gonna be hot. And tomato plants, they do like the heat. They grow really well in warm weather, but when it gets to be in the triple digits, that's really hot for a tomato plant. And it's gonna be struggling to keep pulling enough moisture into the, the leaves of the plant and through the whole plant while it's so hot outside. And when it gets really hot here in the desert and the, the temperatures get up into the triple digits, we don't have any cloud cover most of the time. It's full sun all day, every day. So that's really hot on your plants. They, they'll start to curl up those leaves as a protection from that direct heat of the sun. That's how the leaves are responding to the direct sunlight. They're closing up to keep less sun from hitting them directly and therefore getting less heat. It's gonna keep the plant a little bit cooler. And as you're fully aware, it's really windy here in the desert. It's really tough to deal with the wind. And this is just one other thing that the wind can cause in your garden. Plus, when you combine it with the fact that it's dry and it's hot, it's basically like having a heater or a blow dryer blowing across your plant all the time while it's windy. That's just hot, dry air going across the leaves of the plant. That's gonna cause the plant to lose a lot of water due to transpiration. Plants naturally lose water into the atmosphere 
So when the when the wind's blowing across it, it's just gonna do that even more. It's gonna cause that to be increased and it's gonna lose water faster and it's gonna lose more water. So now you're probably thinking, great, now I know why this is happening, but what can I do about it? And that's where the good news comes in. With this upward leaf curl that's caused by these environmental conditions, you really don't need to do anything. Your plant is perfectly healthy. This is a natural response of your plant to these environmental conditions. It's basically protecting itself from these conditions. And that's great for you. You don't have to do anything. Unless you see some other issues coming up with your plant, you have the plant's dying, there's yellow leaves, other things happening, you really don't need to worry about the upward leaf curl on your tomato plants. Tomato plants with upward leaf curl are perfectly healthy. They're gonna produce fruit the same as any other tomato plant, and there's really no need to worry. But if you really just feel like you need to do something, you wanna help them out, there's a couple of things you can do here in the desert that might help your plants a little bit anyways. You can provide a little bit of shade for them during the hottest parts of the day. This is a good thing you can do for your plants anyways because there's probably other plants in your garden that don't really want that full afternoon sun it just gets too hot for them and giving them a, just a little bit of shade in the hottest part of the day can actually help your plants do even better it'll reduce their stress a little bit but you don't need to be super worried about it don't you don't need to go out and build a huge thing and do a bunch of stuff to shade your plants if you can provide some shade for them that's good if not that's fine another thing that you can do is provide a windbreak for your plants this is good anyways because the wind can do damage in your garden and you want to make sure that your plants are protected so if you can protect them from the wind that's a really good thing to do if you don't know how to do that and you want some tips on maybe how you can protect your plants from the wind go back and watch my video where i talked about how to protect your plants from our strong desert winds. As long as your plants look healthy and the only thing that you're seeing is this leaf curl, you don't need to water more. You need to make sure you're watering your plants enough. Obviously in the desert, it's hot. They need a lot of water, but you don't wanna be over watering. So don't think that this leaf curl means that you need to go out and start putting a ton more water on your plants because that's not gonna that's not gonna change it because there's probably already water in the ground. It just can't pull it up fast enough to to keep itself hydrated during the hottest parts of the day. So you're not gonna wanna start watering more. You just wanna make sure your plants are watered properly, keep an eye on them. If there's no other issues you see, then you really don't need to worry about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you got something from it, make sure you hit that like button. And if you wanna get more content like this, more videos to help you be successful in your backyard garden, make sure you subscribe so you can get all my latest videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.